Hello, I'm John. Welcome to my blog. This is the first video I'm doing of hopefully hundreds of videos to help you understand how to cook things uh, for your family, staple favourites, some more adventurous things. Today we're going for something that everybody really loves, but not everyone has the confidence in doing well, and that's Yorkshire puddings. So first of all, a little note about tins. So this is the traditional uh, tin that people use for Yorkshire puddings. Twelve rings, fairly shallow. Uh, if you want to do smaller Yorkshire puddings, I'd actually recommend a muffin tin like this because it has deeper sides and the sides are very important when it comes to getting a lift. Today though, I'm going to use this bad boy, uh, which is fantastic for a family up to six. You get a really big Yorkshire pudding each uh, and fantastic uh, for this kind of recipe. So I'm going to show you now how to do the recipe. First of all though, we need to put the oven on. So come this way. So now to about the oven then, make sure if you're doing these uh, from scratch that you have enough space in your oven for the Yorkshire puddings. So the tray needs to be halfway down the oven. You need a good 10 centimetres for the lift, which you're hopefully going to get. Now I know you'll probably be doing these with a roast dinner, um, but they only need 15 to 20 minutes if you get the temperature right. So you can actually take the meat out the oven, um, put the roasters on the bottom tray, crank up the heat, and then you're ready to do your Yorkshires. Uh, you'll easily find a way uh, through trial and error, which is exactly what I did. So, we put the oven on to 230 or 240 degrees centigrade, as hot as you can get it. Really, really important. The uh, genius of Yorkshire puddings is really cold butter and a really hot oven. And then what you do, you've got your Yorkshire pudding tin, simply add a small glug of oil into each tray, And you put that in the oven while the oven is getting hot. So I use quite a traditional recipe when it comes to Yorkshire puddings. 3, 2, 1. Those of you that are as old as me will remember Ted Rogers in a wonderful Saturday night programme. No one really understood any of the questions. Uh, hopefully this is a lot easier to understand. You basically need for uh, either 12 small Yorkshire puddings or 6 large ones, um, or indeed toad in the hole, but that's another recipe for another day. Uh, you need 3 eggs. 200 ml of milk, it doesn't matter whether it's skimmed or semi-skimmed, uh, and 100 grams of flour, plain flour. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure out 100 grams of flour. Now, I'm never one for sifting. Uh, I think actually the whisking is more important than the sifting to get air into the mixture. That's 100 grams there. You need a liberal sprinkle of salt. and then crack in the three eggs. Now if you can, try and get one of these lovely, lovely bowls, uh, which have a rubber base uh, and a spout on the end. They are fantastic for all sorts of uses in the kitchen, uh, particularly for things you have to pour out into pans, like Yorkshire puddings. So what we do now is uh, we grab our milk um, and we slowly pour in the milk and whisk at the same time. Now you can use a hand whisk, it'll take a bit of elbow grease, uh, but actually an electric whisk is probably better. Uh, but you can use whichever you have at home. So we're going to do the whisking now. Uh, you'll see from the bowl that I've just broken up the eggs like that. Get the milk, pour in the milk, and you're slowly going to whisk while you're slowly adding the milk. you combine all the flour. in there and then put that in the fridge. So Jack, do you like Yorkshire puddings? Yes. How much do you like Yorkshire puddings? Lots. Do you? Is it your favourite? Yeah. <laughs> 
So now it's time to put the batter in the oven. We've reached the temperature we need to. Uh, just whisk the batter a little bit more just to make sure it's all mixed. Uh, make sure you put an apron on because this can spit. You need to do this really, really quickly. And the key for me is that you're going to pour uh, batter into all six rings, but you're going to do it twice. You'll see what I do. See there how good it is to have a bowl with a spout. Now the reason I do that is that you get a really crispy base and it starts rising straight away and then you pour in the rest of the mixture and that gives you all the lift that you need. And as quickly as you can, put it back in the oven. And then you leave that there for 15 or 20 minutes but keep an eye on it. Right, it's time to get them out the oven. So let's see how they look. Oh, look at that. So there we are. Lovely Yorkshire puddings. Now you can uh, serve them straight away, obviously, which is the prefer preference. Um, or you can leave them in the tin and let them cool um, and warm them up for later. Or you can even put them in the freezer um, and warm them up whenever you need them. Do them in batches or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to tuck into these now with our roast dinner.